This video is to demonstrate how you insert openings. But we are going to start by inserting two non load bearing walls. I'll select the lines, select the corner, create a line as a guide for my walls. Now selecting the A command and I go to walls and in the panel usage I use non low bearing and I've made these 50 mil lower than the uh, external load bearing walls and I do this by points. I click create. <coughs> Now select the midpoints and I'll select the other one here. And I have now created the two non-low bearing walls. And notice that there's two different colors on these. So Franken structure is color coding your different items. So for example, load bearing walls are red while non low bearing walls are yellow. Let us now label these by running the LA command and we now have this label. You can insert an opening in many different ways. One would be to go to the layout manager by running the A command and select opening. Here we can select an aluminium window or whatever we want to use and select create. It's now proposing to insert a window that is 1206. If I'm not happy with these, I can select L to list all the windows because this one is using the current database of windows that I'm using in this project. We will look into this later, but now we're gonna hit L and we're going to select another window and we select the 1230 or oh. you can select the 1400 by 12 select that one and now it's going to ask what method of insert i want to use in this case i want to use the center so i will select that one and that wall here because I want it in the center in between those two points. There are a lot of other commands you could use to insert openings. For example, a user defined window would be U W. And here it will ask me for the, for the opening height. This case is proposing 2050. I'm happy with that. And now it's asking for the width. I will put in 1350. This is the start opening. And now in this case, I also want to use the center command. I'm selecting that wall there because I want it to be in, in between that wall and that wall. So I select that wall as well. And now we have that window inserted there. Another one that you could do is for a uh, passage door, which would be DI, but we can also use the external door, which is ED. And I'm going to do that now, running the ED command, and it's proposing an 820 door leaf width. This is small though, so I'm going to change that to 720. I'm not go now going to use the point offset, which is already proposing. Otherwise, I would just write PO. Now, it wants to know the start of this. And I put this one in. And then I, sh I just show the system in what direction I want to offset this wall. And have in mind, it's to the center of your door and in this case i want the center of the door to be 1500 away from that wall so i insert 1500 
and now we have that wall inserted. If you want to measure inside the frame kit structure, you can run the DI command. And now I can select the center of that wall or, or that opening, and I can select that here, and you will see it's now on 1500 away from that wall. At this stage, we can also run the PPD command to build these panels. And we can now see all these panels, which includes all the openings we just have inserted. We select them all and we send them to CAD and it's now creating a new tab. Earlier, we had the panel one tab, which was before we inserted the internal non-load non um, walls. And now we have the panel two. There is no problem if you want to delete this tab as it's no longer accurate but we now have this new one we're running the a3d command because we want to look at these in 3d and now we have the new model with the windows and the doors that we have inserted and also the new non-load bearing walls